Hi there Sagittarius, how are you? How are you feeling? Welcome to your July reading and this is for Sagittarius Sun, Moon, Rising, North Node or Signature if you've got strong Sagittarius in your chart and we're going to have a look at the energy that you'll be that, that surrounds you and that you'll be dealing with in July what might be crossing your pathway um, and also just in line with some of the collective energies that are, are around so we've got some Cancer energy with the Sun being in Cancer at the moment moving over into Leo towards the end of the month uh, we've got the new moon in Cancer at the beginning of the month on the 5th of July and the second Capricorn new full moon at the uh, towards the end so I think it's 20, 20th or 21st um 21st I think it is of July and we've got some a lot of Leo energy in the in the mix in the collective as well so we've got um your fellow sign uh, fire sign energy um and towards the beginning of the month as we go through kind of the first 10 days or so there's this kind of pull push perhaps or this like um revealing of, of areas that need healing and then we go into this uh, more more creative perhaps more passionate more light-hearted energy um that's and that's kind of very strong in the collective so we'll have a look at how that's impacting you as well but let's look at your current energy first what do we need to know about current energy okay we've got the lovers so for some of you this could be um a choice of something or this could be a, there could be a, a strong relationship theme going on what do we need to know about this lovers energy we've got the king of wands so your energy coming through knight of pentacles page of cups okay i feel like there might i want there could have been some argument happening or some kind of stubbornness happening in connections or in around you this doesn't have to be a relationship this could be in the workplace or there could be something that feels immovable um perhaps some immature action um that's taken place or there's a, a desire to move towards something but something feels blocked um that you can't quite come around we've got the knight of pentacles page of cups there's a there's an assurity i feel there's a do you know what i'm picking up an arrogance but it's like a somebody doesn't realize that they're necessarily behaving in that way and it's not out of a place of bad it's out of a place of choice to do with the choices but somebody's kind of like feeling quite passionate about something and can't see a different choice okay i want to get one more for this okay we've got the sun oh we had another flip as well here two of wands yeah somebody can't see a choice i just want to check that we don't have any more yes and we've got the sun Somebody wants a second chance at something. Could be a, a, a past relationship um, or somebody wants a second chance. But they don't know how to approach you and they don't know how to apologise. Wow, that's quite strong straight off the bat. Okay, let's have a look at what you're moving towards. Oh, you don't want the headache. <laughs> you don't want the headache. You don't want the arguments. A Knight of Cups. This is a relationship you are, I think um no that was me sorry i was I wanted to get this yeah somebody from the past <laughs> okay this is where we're going you you want some you want something in your life that gives you a deep connection deep emotionally fulfilling connection that makes you feel rooted safe secure which is some of the energy that we've got in the collective at the moment with the cancer energy the rooting energy home energy protection of home energy and we'll have a look at that in a second actually but you don't want the headache you want the truth not the noise yeah i you know i feel like somebody it's like somebody just left a situation to just hang out to dry and it wasn't and it kind of caused a bit of a 
a kerfuffle um but you you want something that is true that is you perhaps you might want to reignite something with somebody in your past but you don't know how to approach it or you want it to look different this time because before it might have been quite competitive verbally okay let's have a look at what you're protecting here this energy feels very much like something it doesn't feel like new energy something that you already have engaged with or are, are aware of have been involved in what's been what are you protecting around this we've got the tower i think that's the tower yes okay yeah okay we've got the two of cups now as well okay and yeah with the queen of pentacles at the bottom of the deck so we have you are protecting your profound sense of realization about something that has made you feel stronger feel like you've had this victory that makes you feel empowered when it comes to your romantic connections and you are protecting that uh, and this is going to appear in very different ways for all of you you're either protecting it within a relationship or you're protecting it because you know you know that that's what you want in a relationship or that's what's possible in a relationship but something happened out of the blue all of a sudden to do with a romantic connection or to do with a very profound connection an important connection in your life where because this could be business partnership as well although i feel for for most of you this is going to be romantic um and you're protecting this victory you're protecting your personal understanding of the situation what you gained from the situation how you grew how you evolved or, or you're protecting a, a soulmate relationship or you're protecting this connection with yourself okay let's see what's crossing this what's crossing this we've got the ten of swords this is there was i feel like mental um there were words spoken that weren't particularly nice and there was a lot of overthinking a lot of anxiety like communication clashes okay yeah De defensive any i don't feel like we're taking these are we yes we are okay um this is outcome that's why okay so let's so with the with the challenge I could you know I, I'm hesitating because I feel like this is going to be very different for it's going to be showing itself in different ways for all of you for, for a lot of you I feel like there's there's a feeling of a separation or there's a feeling of having distance from somebody who was a romantic partner who where it was very um there was lots of arguing and the challenge is to and let that to communicate differently or to let that go the challenge is to let down the walls we've built up to protect ourselves from all of this arguing okay um but what that if if successfully done what that leads to is um independence it leads to being able to step back and see something through fully and thoughtfully it leads to like a strengthening of self i feel like this is whether you are with this person or not with this person um and it's it's up to you to decide whether you want to move with this hanged man energy it's totally up to you when you come out of suspense but it's important to protect this personal journey that you've been on with this situation because you have come very far in your own inner strength. Is there anything else we need to know about outcome? Anything else we need to know about outcome, energy? I'm not sure there is. I just want to check. No. Okay, there we go. All right, then. Let's have... No, we're going to do this one first. Let's have a look at some themes. What's, what's the themes around this energy? What's the themes around this energy? Okay. What do we need to know? What's the themes coming out in July? 
the Sagittarius. You are really in control here. You've got like a certainty. We've got cracker. Positive energy surrounds you. Love, joy and good fortune await. Yes. There's a... You don't have to worry about being in a place that isn't fulfilling for you because it's like your strength and your kind of truth guidance gets you there. And we've got Phoenix. Be prepared to be renewed after a period of crisis. This, all of this arguments, all of these arguments, all of this kind of, um, there's like this mental beating down, um, this mental exhaustion. And it's kind of like, and it has already reached a point of enough is enough. And there is, but you are, you are feeling so strong. It's like you are, you're going to go straight into this period of being renewed, but it's not a slow process. You're going to get this energy back quite quickly. And we've got plain, a journey is indicated either physically or metaphorically. Your life will become more full. Yeah. Because this happiness that you're finding is within yourself, not within a relationship or within from somebody else. And we've got the sun again. Open your heart to the enormous growth ahead. You're exactly where you need to be. I feel like you're exactly where you need to be. Okay, I want to have a quick look here at, at lessons. We've got relationships and envy at the bottom of the deck. Um, okay, let's have a look at lessons. Because there was a big cycle. What's the biggest release that's happened through this process? What do we need to, to keep aware of? Loneliness. I know that I am never alone. You don't need anyone else. Empathy. I'm open to seeing both sides of a situation. And pride. I love myself and I see myself in everyone. I feel like pride got in the way of the situation. Someone's pride. Um, not to be truthful in, because the, the, the words sound untruthful, but not an unkind, but they don't sound manipulative necessarily. There's like an edge of, um, ego response. And I feel like that's come from pride. Okay. Um, somebody being in their ego that hasn't really understood what the impact of their words were. Empathy. I'm open to seeing both sides of, of a situation. I feel like this is your strength. Like you can understand both sides of the situation. It doesn't, um, it doesn't change your truth and what you sense as being the truth, but you can, you understand that somebody's come from this, this part of the ego. So, and it's got, like, you know, that there's nothing else you can do about it apart from just protect yourself and stay true to yourself and strong in your own space. And loneliness. I know that I am never alone. You are never alone. Okay, it's like spirit. Spirit is with you, helping has helped you through this, and it's we're moving past this this energy now. Um, we're moving past this journey. Um, yeah, and you don't need you don't need anybody with you where you're going. You don't need anybody else with you, and you certainly don't need anything with you that's going to just be a mental. Uh, m any mental kind of m mind games we've got moonlight yeah in your intuition is very strong it's developed through this situation as well it's got stronger and you can hear it louder now the, i want to say like the wisdom of your soul the wisdom of your soul okay So we have moonlight here. We have encouragement. The supportive energy around you to help you keep going. And this is like pure love. This is this is the energy of somebody who is who you're connected to, that you are, that is just encouraging you to be yourself every day. And we've got solitude, taking some time out or time away. Sad embrace. This situation has met, has caused some sadness. Metamorphosis, yeah. It's it's caused some sadness, but it's the integration of that sadness. I want to get one more for you as well. Yeah, come together. Okay. And um, this 
the sadness that's been in break that's um and we've got at the bottom of the deck coming to life there is something new coming in um for some of you that's with the, any bumps in the road with a relationship that's easing out um for some of you this is like just moving on entirely the sad embrace being kind of brought in rather than kind of left out in the cold type of feeling it's like just this is do you know this is like the the good cry like a good belly cry where you just get everything out and do you know when you 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 can feel the pain and you cry you cry through the, through this um, particularly emotional pain and then all of a sudden you stop crying and it's like it's gone um and it's like that's kind of sad this the release of the sadness and for you that might not be crying that could be doing something else that could be painting that could be talking that could be uh, some other kind of activity but there's there's a integration of this sadness and an acceptance of this sadness and the release of this sadness and it helps you come together in a stronger way either coming together with another coming together coming back into yourself um it means that your protection walls aren't up around everybody it's just up around this one situation it's going to look very different for everybody but this there's a a transition from this from any sadness any sadness that's remaining any residual sadness into this like a deeper more heartfelt connection uh, and especially because we've got these two of cups here okay let's have a look at following <laughs> Uh, okay let's have a, I was just about to say let's have a look at what follows on from this so not a deeper level of this but let's look at what follows on from this and I've cut the deck and we've got the two of cups again and the star which is your soulmate connection and your wish fulfillment and your healing okay <laughs> I'm gonna shuffle let's shuffle properly and see if they can come out they can um okay we've got the yeah new star the full energy there is a brand new pathway up ahead, a brand new start. The the um, the guidance with the fall energy is to look before you look before you tread. Sometimes, and we've got the devil energy. You could have been dealing with somebody with Capricorn in their chart. It doesn't have to be Capricorn, or uh, you might have Aquarius in your chart, or an Aquarius influence. Um, or a Capricorn influence and um, this could also be the full two full moons that we've just had so it could be something that's processing through this period and um, through June and July this is about making the healthy choices choosing choosing the pathway that is most supportive for you that is most encouraging for you And it's also important for you to have a, path, a pathway that allows you to grow. What else is coming after? What's these next steps? What do we need to know? What's the journey through July? Okay, we'll take these two. We've got the King of Pentacles and the Hermit. A lot of Earth energy. Something that didn't quite land or didn't quite ground before. You are doing that yourself because we've got you in this nine of pentacles energy as well so there's something you already have reached the limit of what you need to know about the situation to make a decision you can make a sensible decision you can be calm collected grounded as you make this decision definitely some time um to reflect and to release anything that might just be lurking underneath the surface we're going to take a look at that for you as well um okay what else do we need to know about this pathway queen of cups nice so with this queen of cups this king of pentacles is the combination of the emotional maturity and the physical maturity of something okay yeah and just being able to to make choices being able to have the freedom to move in kind of new ways oh we've got the star let's just see if anything else wants to come out there we go okay so queen of cups 
three of wands potential like there's potential there's potential here there's a making there's a there's a decision and, and a an action from a place of emotional maturity and th that's what you that's what you want you've been protecting this uh, this emotional connection you've been protecting this personal victory and where you go now is the the conscious choice of deciding what you where you stay where you don't stay where what you decide to do where you where this new energy takes you you do have a wish coming true you have a wish coming true you you've got somebody that might come in and help this situation or help you or mediate in this situation or this also feels like you helping somebody else who has or is going through what you've just been through but I love that this star came back out for you yeah this is the healing is nearly through the cycle of healing is nearly through this with the star energy as well for me um from a like a astrology perspective this is also looking at your own like star map your own cosmic blueprint your imprint your soul imprint which is your birth chart understanding all of the energies that you hold quite strongly that are in your birth chart and understanding the influence that those have had on decisions that you've made and decisions that you might make it's this there's a lot of of like authenticity you've been discovering this um, and having these personal victories and it could be a time where you feel to look further into your chart as well with the this kind of cosmic energy you also have a lot of major arcana that's just come out for you so <laughs> there's a there's big shifts a uh, big realizations big shifts um a lot of earth energy as well here Okay, let's get some advice on how to move forward. What do we need to know about moving forward? What energy should we be embracing? What do we need to know? Okay, where are we going? Yeah, perfect. Thank you. We have Heart Guardian, love and let yourself be loved. Don't allow this experience to, to cut you off from opening your heart space. And which be the light? So this is where we've had people, there's kind of, there's energy, we all have access to the same energy, we have it in different quality, in quantities, and we experience it in different qualities, and that's the, this birth chart energy, and when we have, when we go into the kind of, the gone bad side, the gone wrong side, the kind of, um, I don't like saying dark and light so much but it is is this shadow element of the same energy the shadow element of two of cups is is a very um toxic relationship uh, the the light side or the pure side of the two of cups is this soulmate this soul bond connection um and and it's just as one example and it's keeping all of your energy in the light but that is achieved by understanding what the energy is and this doesn't mean that you're in the dark with anything. It just means that you understand on a deeper level, on a very conscious awareness level, on a spiritual level, the energies that you are dealing with, the energies that, that encompass your personality um, and that you, you have deep access to. Ugh, magic guardian, unlock the magic within. I do feel like that's what we've just been saying here as well. So unlock, unlocking your magic by understanding what energies are, are in your in your um strongly in your influence and we've got eagles see from a higher perspective understand what these lessons are what they've been teaching you what they've been showing you oh stargazer set your sights higher so <laughs> two things two things straight away one is this astrology stuff we've just been talking about that feels really strong for you um because we've got this setting your heights setting your sights higher like looking higher for the answers we've also got the planetary influences um that come through on the telescope here um which is again your your chart your natal chart um but the other thing is don't settle for stuff i'm, I'm not gonna swear obviously but don't settle for something that doesn't feel like it is that you want to self settle for and that doesn't mean that it breaks something. It means that the boundaries put in place or there's communication put in place that says, when you say this to me or when you speak like this to me, it makes me feel sad. Or this is what it does to me. When you are, um, you explain to somebody what that does, but you don't settle for that. 
like you can it doesn't mean that something is splitting and you're walking away although it could do for some of you but it means that you are not allowing things to happen that don't feel good for you or in situations that are, are repeating themselves that's just like oh no because all of this energy for you viewer is positive like your pathway forward is really positive okay let's just get some wisdom guidance here what do we need to know about the what we've just been through shield your energy look beneath the surface yeah, that's where we've got this protection here. Um, shield your energy from, from situations that don't feel good. And we've got secret temptation being led astray. We've got this devil energy here. That you know, you keep, hold on to this personal victory because that's what you're protecting. Hold on to what you've learned. Hold on to what you have experienced, what you felt. And don't be, don't be tempted to go astray because somebody might be good with their words or might be um, be able to explain things in a different way. And we have light codes, travel awaits you. We've got travel twice. We've got the plane and um, this energy as well. So there's there's new new things on the horizon for you to look forward to. There is so much positive energy here as well. So much positive energy. Just wanna get one of these. I have a feeling I might have just shuffled, I shuffled these in the wrong direction. Let's see. <laughs> okay, let's get some guidance. What else do we need to know? Okay. We have motivation. When spring approaches, the flower fairies urge you to spring into action. If there is something you've been merely thinking about doing, they say get busy and do it. Okay, so this is about taking action. Don't hover in the don't hover in the in between. If you're going to be in this in between, it's the decisive action of being in the in between and not making a decision. But this is not hovering when you know that you do want to do something, when you want to make a move. Okay. And we've got magical blessings. Whatever you're going through, you're being assisted by magical fairy blessings. The fairies say you can bless others too. There is, a, there is a feeling here about you being, whatever it is that you've gone through or going through, you helping somebody else. But this is all about moving forward. This is not about staying where you are. This is about taking a new leap of faith. We've got magical gateway. It takes courage to trust and venture into the unknown. Yet this is where the greatest rewards are. It's time to step boldly forward without looking back. Yes, go through the gateway. Trust in the magic and go through the gateway. I feel like this is. And we've got healing. Now is a time for you to give or receive healing. Everyone has a natural ability to heal others. Yes, even you. Wow. <laughs> so there's the, you've, you've got a healing gift. Uh, and it can come through in, in all sorts of different ways. Holding somebody's hand or um, hugging them or listening to them or words of, of experience or laughing with them all of this energy is healing um, and you feel, it feels very strong in you um, how you can contribute to others healing processes okay let's have a look at how spirit are, are with you this month as you go through this energy how is spirit with you this month freedom yeah that's this that's important your own freedom is important because you've got um you've held on to this kind of realization this freedom this uh purity and they that they want to help you steer into that not away from that okay and we have exploration another journey card so you might be going away or thinking about traveling and retreats Oh, we've got intimacy at the bottom of the deck as well so there is there is a but i feel like the heat that i feel like that hasn't necessarily come out it's just showing peeking itself out here because we we already know what we need to know about that situation and now it's time for you and it's time for you to explore different horizons it's time for you to feel free it's time for you to get the nourishment that you need oops sorry it's time for you to get the nourishment that you need um 
for your own pathway, for your own journey, for your own experience. Okay. Right. Let's get some just final words of guidance for you as you go through July. Yeah, there's an, a whole new pathway up ahead. A whole new pathway. Whatever's happened before, however this has kind of transpired for you, there's a whole new pathway that doesn't involve any of the drama that happened before. Okay. We've got electric eel spirit bring your ideas to life so this is about that moving forward this is the uh, motivation energy and we've got otter spirit you are never alone i feel like we had that um before did we you are never alone and there's, this is this kind of like encouragement, this coming together energy, leaning into your friendships, leaning into the people that are important in your life to get guidance from perhaps, or just to be, to be with, to be around. And we've got Scarab Beetle. Work, uh, magic works through you. Trusting in all of this magic. And Fox Spirit, think on your feet. You don't need to have all the answers. You don't need a plan. You just need to the, the trust in yourself to think on your feet. And we've got stag spirit, take the lead. So you you are in charge of your own life. You are the, the maker, the creator of your own life. And it's you can take the lead in whichever way you want to. Okay, Sagittarius, I will leave it there. And um, I've run out of space for you. <laughs> I will um I hope that you've you've got some guidance from spirit here with some of the energy that it has been kind of in the recent past that's come into or well, coming into July and um, but some guidance on how to move through that and navigate all of that uh for you as you go through the month. Thank you for watching the reading with me as always and I'll see you next time. Take care.